Create a faded bottom overlay effect like Iman Godzi in Premiere Pro. Click on New Item at the bottom of Project Panel, choose Black Video, and click OK. Drag the black video above your video in Timeline and position it where you want. Select the black video and in the Effect Controls panel click on Rectangle Mask, set the zoom amount to 25%. Can set Mask Feather to 400. Click on the mask again if the handles are not visible, and adjust the mask size and position until you get something like mine. Set Blend Mode to Darken. Now in the Effects panel search for Dissolve and drag the Film Dissolve effect to the start and end of the black video. Adjust the duration of the transition to your liking. Create a two-color progress bar like Iman Godzi in Premiere Pro. With the Rectangle tool click in the preview and drag to create a rectangle. In the Essential Graphics panel set Radius to 80, uncheck the Fill Color, Check the stroke checkbox and set it to 10 pixels. Now with the selection tool drag it to the position you want and click on this button to center it horizontally. Select the rectangle and in the effect controls panel move the playhead to the start. Click on stopwatch next to position and drag position second value until the rectangle is out of the frame. Hold down the shift key, press the right arrow key twice to go forward 10 frames and click on the reset parameter button. Select both keyframes, right-click on one of them, and add ease in and ease out to them. Now we have this animation. Hold down the Alt key and drag the rectangle to the above track to create a duplicate from it. Select the duplicate rectangle, click on Stopwatch next to Position, and remove the keyframes. Select the shape in the Essential Graphics panel, uncheck the stroke, and check the Fill checkbox. Set Fill Color to Linear Gradient, then select the first handle, choose a color, and set location to 50%. Select the second handle, choose another color, set location to 50% as well, and click OK. Now in the Effects panel search for crop and add it to the top rectangle. Move the playhead to a location where the first animation is completed. Click on stopwatch next to right and increase it until you can't see any of the first color. Go forward 10 frames and set crop right to 50%. Move a little forward and click on the circle button to create a keyframe with current value. Go forward 10 more frames and drag crop right until the second color is completely visible. Select all the keyframes, right click on one of them, and add ease in and ease out to them. Create dip to black transition like Iman Godzi in Premiere Pro. Here I added two videos to my timeline. Drag the second video so the videos do not be next to each other. Now in the effects panel search for dip to black and add it to the end of the first video. Now attach the second video to the first one. I also downloaded this sound effect and use it at the start of the second video. Create a grid gradient background like Iman Godzi in Premiere Pro. With the Rectangle tool click and drag in the preview window to make a rectangle a little bigger than the frame size. Now with the Selection tool adjust the position of the rectangle, then in the Essential Graphics panel click on the Fill Color. Set it to Linear Gradient, then click on the first handle and choose the color you want. Click on the second handle, choose the color you want, and click OK. Now set Opacity to 30 to darken it like what we saw in Iman's video. In the Effects panel search for Grid and add it to the Rectangle layer. Set Corner Values to 1500, Border to 1 pixel, and Blending Mode to Screen to only keep the whites and remove the blacks. Now we have the background and it's time to zoom into it. Move the playhead to the start and click on Stopwatch next to Scale to create a starting keyframe. Move the playhead a little forward and set Scale to 130 to create the second keyframe. To smoothen the animation, Select both keyframes, right-click on one of them, and add ease in and ease out to them. Press the Enter key to render the sequence. Create directional fade text effect like Iman Godzi in Premiere Pro. For now, I just hide the first track. Press Ctrl plus T to create a text layer, then double-click on it in the preview window and type your text. Now with the selection tool open up Essential Graphics panel, change text styles to your liking and click on these two buttons to center it horizontally and vertically. 
In the Effect Controls panel expand the text and click on the rectangle mask. Set mask feather to 200, drag the mask to the left side of the text, and adjust its size. Now move the playhead to the start, and click on mask path to create a starting keyframe. Move the playhead a little forward and click on the mask to see the handles again in the preview window. Select the two right keyframes and drag them to the right until the text is completely visible, and hold down the shift key to drag them in a straight line. And now we have this effect, and I also unhide the bottom track. Create a spiral zoom effect like Iman Godzi in Premiere Pro. Here I added an image to my timeline. Select it, open up Effect Controls panel, and move the playhead to the start. Click on Stopwatch next to Scale and Rotation and set Scale to 120 to create two starting keyframes. Now move the playhead around 3 seconds forward and set Scale to 150 and Rotation to minus 15 or use a positive value based on your needs to create the second keyframes. Now we have this animation. To smoothen the animation, select both keyframes, right-click on one of them, and add ease in and ease out to them. Anyway guys thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful.